tackled in the last year. But let's, re let's not try to rewrite history as we see it being done on the other side. Let's remember when President Bush came to office in 2001, crude oil sold at $25.88 a barrel. When the Iraq war began, that terrible misguided war, crude oil was $35 a barrel. Gas was approximately $1.56. In my district today, gas is three fifty six. Crude oil is over one hundred and nineteen dollars. That's what the Republican policies have us. A bad war and gas and oil that we cannot afford. The Energy Information Agency says gas will be four dollars this summer. Diesel is already four dollars. So what has the GOP and this president said he was going to do? Remember, he's going to jawbone his friends, the Saudis, to produce more oil so we'd have it here in this country. Oh, he jawboned all right. He jawboned all the way up to record prices, record profits, where Exxon can pay its CEO a $400 million pension with $440 billion in profits last year. Oh, boy, they jawboned all right. Their jawbone is chewing on our pocketbook and it's hurting the middle class in this country. What have we done? Energy price gouging bill, H.R. 1252, which we passed last May. 284 to 141. 141 on the other side won't even vote with us to stop the gouging of prices that we see day in, day out. This legislation would have provided the Federal Trade Commission with the authority to investigate and prosecute those who engage in price gouging, predatory pricing, and other unfair practices. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of seeing gas go up 30 cents like it did earlier this month in my district. One day, 30 cents. Now, if that's not excess of price taking, predatory pricing, price gouging, I don't know what it is. Let's take a look at the Pump Act. It's a piece of legislation we've been working on since April of 2006, and we have plenty of co-sponsors. We had a hearing last December, December 12th. What did they say? Pass the Pump Act to prevent the unfair manipulation of prices. As Professor Greenberg said, we could save $30 a barrel. For every barrel of oil comes in this country, we could save $30 by getting the speculators out of the market. When do we, why do we continue to allow speculators to run this country. They sure did a good job with the mortgage, didn't they, with the subprime mortgage. That's why our values of our property has gone down. Now the speculators are in the oil field, in the energy field. And why is that? Because a little thing when the Republicans were in charge called the Enron loophole. The Enron loophole in 2005 allowed the speculators to come in to the energy field. And therefore, they've run up the price. What did the hearing show? 90 98 percent of the people who are speculating on the market in NYMEX and the International... Uh, one more minute. Gentlemen. An extra minute. 95 to 98 percent playing in this market have no intentions of taking possession of oil or providing a product. They're there for one reason. To rape the profit off the American people that they can through their excessive speculations. This Democratic Congress has also passed the Renewable Energy Tax Act to help lessen our dependence on foreign energy sources. Look it. Since this war started in Iraq, everything has doubled and tripled. We've heard nothing from the other side. This Democrat Congress continues to do things to try to curb the abuses we find in the energy field, that we find in manipulation of prices and speculation. We will continue to work towards that. To come down here and somehow try to rewrite history it just is not going to work. It's important to note that tax breaks that are eliminated in the Renewable Energy Tax Act are equivalent to less than 1% of the oil company's net income. But yet they complain because we... we Time is expired. Thank you, gentlemen, for his time.